Big 4 3 just released a patch canceling out the geo filter problem that's been plaguing the multiplayer and finally discusses desync and what's going on with it and what's causing the issue and what they did today to help fix it. You want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So 343 released two blog updates today, guys. So I wanted to break them all down for you, give you the nitty gritty and all the stuff that you need to know. So first of all, we're gonna be talking about their discussion about desync and what's causing that issue to get shot around corners. And some of it makes sense and uh, some of it like, well, I hope it does better in the future. So first they discuss being shot around corners and that experience and why that is happening right now in Halo Infinite. And they say fundamentally it's due to lag compensation, which if you guys don't know it, basically it's a way to try to merge these timelines that they mentioned within this development update together to where it seems like it's kind of rather cohesive experience. But they said right here, the latency compensation is how we handle the fact that there are delays between actions on your machine and actions on the server, which happens in every single shooter out there. And the results of these actions being communicated to other players. So basically, what you're seeing on the screen might not actually be happening in real time because if you just took out lag compensation, the person with the lowest ping would have a clear advantage in the lobby, which is something that you don't want to have happen. And they state right here that there are multiple ways that can go about fixing the problem of lag compensation, but they do state that they always try to favor the shooter in these situations. They don't try to try balance out anything because if you're the person who's shooting the player you want to get, they basically kind of give them the benefit of the doubt of that situation where you don't want to have that situation where you're shooting somebody and nothing happens. That's horribly unsatisfying, which again, kind of creates that what's called peaker's advantage, which is something that has been a huge issue just in every shooter out there right now. The only game I've really seen that really tried tackling this issue was uh, Valorant, where they made like actual like deals with ISPs in the US talking about how do they lower the latency of these games where peaker's advantage is less prevalent in the game. Again, this is a lag compensation thing that happens with literally every shooter out there. Right here, they basically state that those times when you get shot around the corner is usually because that player who is shooting you is on a high ping, which generally shouldn't be happening for the most part, but there has been an issue with geo filtering, which we'll cover later on in this video and how that should help hopefully fix up these issues. But saying like, if you have these situations where you get clearly shot around a corner, it's most likely that that's the issue, not necessarily the server itself. So for example, right here, they showcase what the shooter's angle looks like on the Spartan right here. This is from the target's point of view, but this is with no millisecond delay, like point, point, on point, like no lag whatsoever, which would make sense. But then when you start adding in the light latency that happens with literally every shooter out there and the lag compensation, you kind of start seeing that with the higher the ping of the viewer, the more likely you're gonna get shot around the corner right here. And 343 does say that the team is currently working on a thing with the scoreboard to showcase like who's lagging or who's on a good connection just so you have better information about what's happening with the game. So if you see someone with like a red bar ping or really high number, you go, okay, that would make sense why I'm getting shot around the corners. So there's an update that actually went on 343 side that kind of helped provide some solutions to this problem and it said as of today we have increased the priority of low pings in our servers in matchmaking process this step should help match you with local players and therefore have a better connection more often which is thank god that's exactly what we need ping is king when it comes to casual multiplayer shooters like just you know get me in the lobby with everyone that's near me and we'll have a good time pretty much and they did say they do expect to see people like outside of more populated areas they mentioned specifically about australia and asia that your match times might go up a little bit when it comes to your searching times but overall you should be getting a better experience and not getting shot around corners so much because it was happening a lot of times with me where i was getting 170 plus ping servers matching with people like over in europe matching with people in australia and i'm in this in the western coast of the united states like i'm like the core audience location like i shouldn't be having these crazy pings. I never had this issue with MCC. And they mentioned that's because of geo filtering, which again, we'll cover a little bit later on here. But there is an update that actually just went live and that they basically have canceled out the geo filtering because if you guys do know on the PC side of things, there was like a file that you could change around that makes basically caused you to have like a server selector in a way, much like we had in, with MCC. Basically, a bit long story short, that the person who is geo filtering you connect to them and which would cause everyone else to lag in the game, cause these really bad 
desync issues that would cause you to gain shot around the corners. But now the so games will recognize that, hey, you modify the file and you won't be able to search. So you geo filtering has basically been cleared out completely from Halo Infinite. But they do have talks for here saying they're looking to include a server selector, much like MCC or something like a filtering option like we had in Halo 5 further on down the road, but nothing guaranteed right now at the moment. Next, they talk about melee and shot registration issues because I do know a lot of people have their issues with the melee system in Halo Infinite. I haven't really experienced it too much, but I know a lot of people out there certainly have. I've certainly seen clips. I've definitely seen clips online about it. And to solve the issue with melees not landing or shots not landing, they said, do mention that they have planned updates coming into Halo Infinite for these improvements landing in the future updates that should hopefully help out with these issues quite a bit. They also do suggest that for all you PC players out there to turn your simulation quality setting up to ultra, this will put a little bit extra load on your CPU, but I do mention specifically that most PCs out there should be able to handle it just fine with this on ultra. I play on ultra and that might be the reason why I'm not experiencing some crazy issues going on with the game, uh, but definitely want to turn that simulation quality on the ultra. It just helps to have a smoother experience online. Continue on talking about the missing collision and melee phasing, which again with high latency certainly has an issue with this. And they provide some images we're here showcasing like, well, basically this is a extreme example just so you can easily understand what's happening obviously within the game it's not this severe but essentially that when the server reads you right here but the game is presenting you right there the player who's playing you're fighting against goes for that melee and you can cause some weird kind of issues happening when it comes to the melees like players getting these really absurd lunges and things like that which again simulation quality improvements will help out with that when it comes to the proper representation within the game but I do state like this is kind of like what happens when you have when you see these issues and again they mentioned that they are working on improvements for player collision especially during melee uh, given how important melee is to the combat dance this is a high very high priority and the team is working on it right now we will share more patch notes as we resolve the issue so they're working on it right now but nothing happening at the moment now server and desync issues if you guys haven't seen this clip here on reddit it's uh definitely showcases what happens with desync well, the player shows what he seen but then it also showcases what the server is seeing utilizing what the uh theater mode does and you can kind of see like what's happening on the server side of things compared to what the player's actually seen two totally different things and they did state that they actually have a fix involved with this as well but yeah like kind of insane kind of desync i saw this happen early on when the launch of halo infinite and you know 343 is currently working on it at the moment and they provide some information about this and saying that they have identified the issue that's causing the desyncs and they will provide these updates in upcoming builds now i've had this desync issue before especially back when battlefield 4 first launched and i think the main reason why is because they were using really low tick rate server so i thought that might been the issue and they actually state right here saying with the four before matches they used 60 tick rate servers which is the gold standard when it comes to tick rate that's how it should be so it's not necessarily the server issue like they mentioned it's the lag compensation tied behind it and again players are lagging quite high with high pings causes you to get that experience of being shot around the corner they also mentioned in big team battle they use 30 hertz servers which it does make sense because usually with larger games, there's a lot more information. So you kind of have to lower that tick rate a little bit, which again, is pretty standard within any kind of shooter out there. I believe now like most Battlefield games run at like 30 hertz and stuff like that as well. Uh, they also do mention with online co-op does come to Halo Infinite that it will be running at 30 hertz as well. So good information to see. Uh, we're actually talking about theater mode as well as we do know that theater mode is quite laggy and well, it doesn't really represent what's happening in the game. So they're saying, why do my shots appear to miss when I watch back on theater mode or in observer mode? If you guys have seen the uh, observer mode online for the online tournaments with HCS, you're like, wow, the guy's right here, but the cursor is like way over here, but the shots are landing. What's going on with that? Well, that's literally lag compensation happening before your eyes right there. And they do state that that's basically what's happening. Uh, you basically, when you go back into watch a film, if your cursor is really far behind where you're shooting, then you are experiencing a really high latency from your experience. And of course the server tries to compensate for that. But they do state that unfortunately due to the way the system works, third person in theater and observer will always be slightly off, which it's a shame, but of course then it does register this that kind of differently as well. Like if you guys remember, you know, we were always think like, well, yeah, back in theater mode for like the MC, for back when the original games came out that there was no issue with this. But that's because back then they recorded button presses 
on your end and then would represent that within the theater mode. So basically it was simulating the game you just played rather than recording and playing back. Uh, but to do state here that since they're utilizing this system that there's always gonna be a little bit of latency uh, on land it's totally fine from what i've seen but definitely with these online tournaments you definitely notice especially with the observer mode being a little bit behind but that's not all the information guys we also have some geo filtering issues that have been going on with halo infinite and that has been updated right now where like actually geo filtering looks to be resolved you guys have been getting some really high ping servers for no reason whatsoever that's because of people geo filtering in your game long story short that they are causing you to have high pings most likely probably exacerbating this issue of desync and being shot around corners even more uh like i said earlier like i've been getting a lot of servers where i get like 170 ping 200 ping servers solo queuing and i'm like this doesn't make any sense with me being inside the u.s and so they basically state the examples right here saying like player in region a with the expected ping probably being like around the 60s, which is pretty average. But then with some geo filters, it kind of drags you into their region, giving you these really high pings, which is incredibly annoying. Again, exacerbating that issue of desync and being shot around corners. And so now with the recent update that they talked about saying that they are prioritizing ping, they cancel out the geo filter. So you shouldn't be really feeling the experience of being shot around corners as much. There's always gonna be that within shooters because of lag compensation. As I basically stated like within this development update that, that they try to think of like each player having their own timeline of with happening within the match and you try to calculate the merger of those timelines to where it'd be the most fair for everyone to play right there like i said if you just remove lag compensation the person with the lowest ping would absolutely dominate we had this previously within like call of duties i remember remember in black ops one where like if i was the host of the lobby oh my god i felt like a god like i was unstoppable because i was literally seeing everything before anybody else was and so i felt like i was an absolute god i have a video on my channel if you guys want to check it out where i pulled host and then i was was able to just absolutely dominate go like 40 and up because like i'm literally playing like half a second before everybody else lag composition is very needed within shooters but it's great to see that if you're geo filtering you will not be able to match because they'll recognize you've edited a file this is mostly on the pc side of things uh, i wonder if they'll be able to figure it out with the router situation because you can do geo filtering with routers as well but hopefully that game gets addressed as well within this but again we'll see if it happens uh, but guys halo infinite's multiplayer should be playing a lot smoother now than it was previously but it looks like for right now we still don't have quite much information about the mid-february patch update once that does go live guys or once we get some actual information i'll share it with you on the channel what their plan is because they did say they're looking to change things with the store with customization help it out with the desync issues and things like that and also a ranked update as well as we do know that the ranks will be cleared out when it comes to your csr and having a, a fresh restart as there have been some bad actors and the system not working as intended that's also coming around most likely this month hopefully fingers crossed but until then guys stay tuned to the channel for more videos if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this place right here going to link to all my halo infinite news and informational videos thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out